As you know from the Watch Me First video, we assume you've read Chapter 8 with all the details of Dr. Elizabeth Pope's Literature Review Project, so I'll just start with a quick review of the six stages of the project from Table 8.1 on page 156. The first stage of the project is demonstrated in two videos. Part 1 of Stage 1 includes creating the Atlas TI project, adding and organizing electronic literature resources, and undertaking initial descriptive coding. Part 2 continues with writing memos, organizing the descriptive codes into categories, and writing a first draft. The second stage video reviews, reflects on, and refines what was accomplished in Stage 1. Stages 3 and 4 are combined in the next video, which involves adding a second round of literature and managing it in the same way, and then reflecting on all that has been done so far in order to identify themes in the reviewed literature. The final video combines stages 5 and 6, which involves extracting coded data in order to write the second draft of the literature review, and then continuing to add additional literature over time. In this video, I will walk you through Stage 1 of the Case Illustration and Exploratory Literature Review, Exploring the Literature on Interfaith Dialogue. You can see in Table 8.2 an overview of the steps of the first phase, the Preliminary Partial Literature Review. As Phase 1, Identify and Become Familiar with Resources, was not done in Atlas TI, I will not be discussing that phase in this video. So, to begin Phase 2, organize and initially categorize all the resources. 2A required me to create a new project and import all the marked up electronic resources into it as individual documents. Keep in mind that in working with Atlas TI version 8, the highlights and comments made in Adobe Acrobat Reader do not import over into the Atlas TI project. So, you cannot use the highlighting in the Atlas TI project as a roadmap for coding in the way I did in Atlas TI 7. However, I can discuss some workarounds for that problem. So, I created a new project and then imported each document in one by one into the project. Because we're working with a more recent version of my project, you can see I already have several documents in here. However, I have downloaded a new document to add to the project to see how this is done. So you choose Add Documents, Add File, because I'm going to be adding in one individual document. I'll choose the document, which is named according to the naming convention that I used for all of my documents, which is Author, Year, and then Title, and open the document, and you see it now in Atlas TI. So the second step of Phase 2A is to then record the full citation and abstract for each resource into the comment field for the document. To do that, you can either right-click the document in the Explore listing to open the Document Manager, or you can go to Home, Documents, and open the Document Manager this way. Now, because of the way I named my documents, I can easily find them in the Document Manager by organizing the documents alphabetically. So we are looking for the article by SNAR, and there it is. Now, to actually put in the citation, I need to have the article up as well. So I have the article on one side of my screen in Adobe and the Atlas Document Manager on the other. So what I did in the comment field was then to record the full citation using APA citation requirements. So I'm going to do that now. We need to then find the name of the journal, which is... If there were a DOI listed, I would then put the DOI, but there is not. Additionally, because this section of the citation should be italicized, I'll highlight it and then with Control i will italicize the text. The next step for the comment field was to put the abstract and the keywords in. So to do that, I will copy them in Adobe and then come over to Atlas and through control V, paste the text in. At this point, I was done with the Adobe file. Make the document manager large. Now that I've maximized the document manager, I can go into the comment field and edit the text again. When you copy over text from Adobe, you can see that there are hard returns in the paragraph that I personally don't want there. It's, like I said, a personal choice. It's a formatting issue. 
What I did at this point is I just went through and I deleted all the hard returns. So at this point, I have done everything that I needed to do in the comment field for the individual document. And you can see now that there is a comment section and that it has been changed. Step 2B of phase two was then to organize the literature into specific subject areas by creating document groups. So if I wanted to create a new document group based on this subject, I would have the document itself highlighted. I would click, hold, and drag it over into the document group field. The little plus sign on the bottom of the cursor tells me that I'm going to actually create a new document group. Now, however, this document fits into one of the document groups that's already created but I can see in this listing that it's not actually in a document group yet. Because it is an empirical study on interfaith dialogue, it fits into that document group. So to add it to that document group, I'm going to click and hold, drag it, and drop it into the empirical studies on interfaith dialogue. We can see that there are now 16 documents in this group, and in the document manager listing, we can see that this article has been added to this group. So I did this with each document, and you can see that each document in this entire project has been added to one of the five document groups on the left side of your screen. When I did the very first phase of this document, you can see in table 8.2, it tells you that I had created nine document groups. What you see here is the result of editing those document groups down so that I only had five towards the end. Step 2C of this phase was to apply descriptive codes to the relevant segments of literature and to take notes on them. I'm going to pull up the Atlas project again with this document selected. If I had the highlighting that carried over from Adobe, you would be able to see it here because that's not the case with Atlas TI version 8. You may want to have the Atlas TI project on one side of your screen and the Adobe file on the other, which would enable you to see the highlighting. If you do not want to use the highlighting, you will just code in Atlas without highlighting as a guide. So to do that, as you're reading through and you find a portion of relevant text to code, you highlight it and code it. Part of the purpose of this literature review was to understand how interfaith dialogue had been studied in the literature previously. So this meant noting things like research questions, research purposes, methodologies, modes of analysis, etc. So this statement to me represents part of the purpose of this research. So if I was going to code it as such, I would highlight it by clicking and dragging the cursor like I did, right click, and now you have the options to create a new code, which is open coding, code in in vivo, which would then be to use the text as the title of the code, list coding, which is to choose from a list of codes that you've already created. These are the th main ways that I coded. Because I am going to be using a code that I've already created, I'll choose list code, and it brings up your code book. I'm going to go through my code book until I find the appropriate code, which is this code, Empirical Studies Interfaith Dialogue Research Purpose. I'm going to choose this code, click OK, and then we can see in the margin to the right side of the screen that this segment of text has actually been coded. For each document, I coded sections with descriptive codes. In the first portion of this literature review, this resulted in 141 descriptive codes. And I used these codes to mark the relevant portion of texts I had identified when I was reading through the article in Adobe. The vast majority of the quotations were coded with only one descriptive code, not coded with multiple codes. 